usually say best whatever lightly. If I say that Paper Mario 2 is the best RPG I've ever played, I mean it, and it has earned that title. But this, I had so much fun in Excitebots in the few hours that I played it, that it, and even more time after that, I've just grown to love it. It's a really great game. Buy this. If you want a 20 second review, that's it. Buy this game. If you want me to go into why I like it, well, fine, I'll do it. But only for you, because I like you. And not like that. But I do. You guys are great. Anyway, Excitebots is a really great game. If you, One of the first games that came out for the Nintendo Wii was Excite Truck, and that was a pretty good game, too. The controls were a little bit loose, and it took a little bit of getting used to, but it was high speed, high energy, very fun game. Excite Bots basically takes the concept of the original Excite Truck, basically high speed, high intensity action, very fast paced, very intense, very like off the wall and unsensible, and they multiply it by 20,000. Instead of trucks that were basically nameless and interchangeable, you have bots. So you've got a frog car, a spider car, a centipede car. And trust me, they have a lot more personality and are a lot more memorable to you than the just generic cars that they gave you in Excite Truck. And, well, it's still high pit, fit, fast pace, it's still very off the wall. They even add more in to make it more zany, like randomly you'll run into a bunch of bowling pins and then you'll get more points for that. And, well, in most cases, these sort of mini games in the middle of a racing game wouldn't really work. The way that Excitebots has it structured, they actually fit into the game really well. Like, you can do it and you won't be distracted too much from the fact that you're actually doing a race, as opposed to having them just pop out of nowhere and just distract you. And it works. The control is very tight and intuitive. You just tilt the Wii remote, or use the Wii wheel, even though I don't know why you would want to use that worthless piece of plastic. You just tilt it and then it works. What These kind of tilt the car things is one of the few things that the Wii Remote gets wet without the Motion Plus. And it works. It's a lot tighter than an Excite truck, and it's very good steering. When it comes to graphics and sound, the game is a little bit more lacking. I know a lot of people have bashed the game's music, and I really don't see why. They say it's empty and repetitive and lifeless and horrible, and I don't think that the game's musical music is horrible. I mean, it's definitely not the best music ever, it's not really memorable, and it's a little bit irritating after a while, but it's not horrible, it's not ear-achingly ear bad. It's okay, it fits the tone of the game as well. Though I am kind of disappointed that you aren't able to put your MP3s in like you were in Excite Truck. Kind of an odd thing to take away from a game. Oh well. When it comes to graphics, it's a minor update over the original Excite Truck, which didn't look that great, being honest. But graphics don't mean everything. And it works. It does work. Just overall, the online is great too. Just buy this game, okay? It's great. Bye.